So, so we can measure quality. We can measure the quality of products. But I think as soon as you're emphasizing measurement, you're, you're disfavoring quality itself. Uh, let's, let's go to Gross National Happiness, okay, in Bhutan. They had nine criteria for gross national happiness. They didn't measure it. They just knew it. They knew it in their souls. And they acted uh, in favor of those nine criteria. Then the economists descended on Bhutan and <laughs> it became laughable. I think there was not, there were something like 75 measures. Um, they completely destroyed the whole feeling of it because because you don't measure gross national happiness. You you judge it. You 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 feel it. You live it. Um, you know it when you see it. The trouble is we drive out judgment. And, and, and we drive out judgment in favor of measurement. Measurements don't explain anything. They simply give you trend, trends. The explanation comes from probing. I don't think Sherlock Holmes talked a lot about measurements. He talked a lot about detective work. He talked a lot about probing. The dog, you know, famous story about the dog didn't bark. Well, that's a sample of one. Um, but of course, in that story, uh, the fact that the dog didn't bark uh, revealed who the killer was. So if we keep coming back to how do you measure quality, uh, you kind of know it when you see it. Um, if you have good judgment, we have to be able to use our judgment and respect our judgment and, and discuss and debate these things.